Hi, this is Adam with PhotoNerdUnite.com and today I want to show you how to organize your keyword list inside of Lightroom. Siri, how many words are in the English language? Okay, give me a moment. The answer is about 600,000 words. 600,000 words. And considering that men speak about 2,000 words a day and women speak about 5,000 words a day, that is a lot of words and when we start to put that into keywords that could be a lot of keywords so today i'm going to show you how to organize your keyword list but not only quickly and easily also effectively now i've looked all over the internet for some sort of list to help me better organize my keywords and i haven't been able to find anything and as a result of that, I had to start thinking outside the box and come up with a way that actually made sense, but that was also universal to all the other clients that we mentor. Luckily for you, I've been able to figure that out. First, let's head over to our keywords list over on the right hand side in the library module. And here you'll see a list of all of the keywords that you've created. The very first thing that we're going to do is create these three keywords, people, places, and things. And by people, places, and things, these are the main categories that we're going to use to categorize all of our keywords that we have. Let me show you what I mean. I'm going to start by creating people, places, and things. And now that I have those people, places, and things tag, I'm going to go ahead and start to move these keywords into their corresponding area. So to move a tag, it's pretty easy. You just select the tag and then you drag it into the location that you want. So I'll move Moab into places. I'll move anything else into things. And then I'll move people into their respective people's place. And there you have it, people, places, and things for step number one. Already you can see how much better that looks. Step number two is to divide these categories up just a little bit more. Let's take people, for example. For me, there may be a few different types of people, but let's just stick with the obvious ones. Things like family, or maybe we have a friends category. And we will drag these into our people's tag as well. And from here, you can elaborate as much as you want. You can break family into different categories, whether it's aunts, uncles, cousins, mom, dad, whatever you want to do. But just by generalizing people from family and friends already gives you a pretty good baseline as to how to find people using these keyword tags. As you can see here, I've got one family member, which is my daughter, and then I have two friends in the friends category. But again, when I close this people up, it's a much cleaner looking keywords list. I can do the same thing for places. For places, what I'll do is I'll divide this up into two categories as well. I'll start by making an international destination as well as a United States destination. For me, this is pretty easy because I live in the United States. If you live internationally and you're watching this video, just do it a little bit opposite as I'm doing it. I'll go ahead and drag those two tags in there and then I can sort these tags accordingly. So Moab, Utah is in the United States and Iceland and Greece is international. Here's another recommendation for you. If you're living in the United States, it's important that you make a keyword tag for your state. The reason that I do this is because it's obvious that I'm going to take a lot of pictures from a lot of different places within the state that I live. For me, I live in California, so I may have pictures from San Francisco and Sacramento, Los Angeles, etc. I may have national parks and so forth and so on. So your home state is going to have a lot more keywords just by default. So go ahead and make a keyword for your state right away. The last and final thing is things. And you can organize this however you want to, whether it's flowers, nature, trees, textures, patterns, whatever. But if you don't want to go into that kind of depth, just drag every miscellaneous thing that is not a person or is not a place into your things tag. So just by breaking this down into these three categories alone gives you a fantastic, organized, easy to find keyword list that's clutter free. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Leave us a comment down below and let us know what you think of this. Or maybe give us some tips on how you use keywords to organize your photos. 
And as always, thank you so much for watching, and we'll catch you in the next episode.